Hi everyone. Hi y'all. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garwin Stitchery. The House of Garwin Tottenham Bags. <laughs> yeah, we almost said the House of Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. I feel like we just did this video. I know. The time it's is rushing. Really going fast. It's yes. been a really good week. Um, yes. Earlier this month, we filmed our unboxing, which we will show after everything that we've done so you if you don't want to be surprised yet with the unboxing if you haven't got yours like if you're like the Ronnie said last time if you're international or you were traveling and you haven't got home yet um we will put a, a show up showing when we're going to show it so that way you could stop the video if you don't want to be surprised and can't you jump the welcoming i just wanted to get that out that's <laughs> what everybody's waiting for so now all right all now right we're gonna do the welcoming you welcome if you're new <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Right. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back and putting up with us for another week. Yes. <laughs> we are a floss tube about cross stitch. We are cross stitchers ourselves and we own an online cross stitch shop. Yes. And um and we are very we thankful. live we li yes, we are very thankful. We live, eat and breathe cross stitch and it is a true joy every day. Yes. And so we have a couple of thank yous. Yes, I want to thank you, Nancy, for the lovely Christmas cards. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. And Dina. Thank you, Dina. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. I appreciate you, cars. And thank you so much to Petra. Uh huh. Or Petra. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. That would be a pretty cross stitch. And I'm going to send a thank you to Petra for your uh, kindness and uh, your lovely letter. And your lovely letter, yes. And then also we had a shout out from uh, one of our fellow floss tubers, uh, Jack's Creative Inspirations. So mm -hmm. thank you, Jax. That's Jackie. If you guys know her from our uh, Sunday Zoom or any of the retreats we had, um, she is very active on the Facebook group too. Yes. Right. And what is Christmas cars? You you jump. Oh, me. this is a Christmas car. <laughs> he jumped me. I jumped him. <laughs> I'm thinking that when you put a Christmas cars there, I'm thinking you are worth to, to tell about the our Christmas car. Oh, we are as of uh, this week. We started putting our uh, Christmas card postcards in every package that's shipped out. Yeah. Um, we are trying to remember to do that on everyone. So if we did not get you that time, please forgive us. <laughs> no, and probably you're gonna uh, get two or three. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. We we are was thinking and uh, sending to everybody on the website, but that's out there our hands. Yeah, is to to to. We need out a, there we hands. need a staff of like twenty poodles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's get into. Where's my stitching? As over here. Oh, he took all my stitching. And so let's see what is. Oh, yeah, we have to do the. <laughs> he re, Oops. He reorganized. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right. All right. So this, this is your stitching. This is my whip. This is my whip. And okay. I don't know what you have. To no, add. I don't need that. All right. So let's do any finishes. No. Uh, I have some FFOs which you can't see this week because I didn't wasn't able to make it to the framer this week. Yeah. Um. So we will show finishes FFOs next week. Should be some good ones. Um. Let's see your whips. Do you have any new starts? Nope. Okay. Let's do whips. My whips. I'm working this week with uh, Fox and Rabbit Hearts for Ronnie. I love it. I'm uh, finish. I'm finished ginger, and I do the dragonfly and one bee over here. I think you see the bee before, but I had to frog the wings. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, this frog in Alabama, no one get out even in winter time. <laughs> I'm gonna send him to other states. <laughs> Because it's visiting me crazy. Uh, you can see why. But yeah, this is my, my um, uh, progress and hearts for Ronnie. Mm -hmm. And I love it. And my second whip. Oh, 
This one and it's fishing on Fox and Rabbit. Oh no, I'm sorry. Fabric by Stephanie Polar Plunge. And 18, 18 counts. Yeah. All right. And I'm working in Croquette a go, go The Nativity. So this is Ronnie's first time using a collar pattern. Yes. And he's he's got some learning challenges. When I open the pattern and say, holy cow. What I'm gonna do? I'm almost back up in the in the project, but I say no, I can do it. And when I start doing it, it's so easy. This really? this this is <laughs> so easy. <laughs> the the frog is my is my fault. Um. This designer is really, really very, it's very easy very to make easy. it. Yeah, good. Because when I see the palm trees, I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes because the, the, the green is two tones of green and the symbol is very similar. But there is no, there is, uh, the frog not busy me for that. The frog busy me because I was distracted and the messenger, we, we call, um, messages from the Facebook and um I miscount and I'm happy and then I think Ginger disturbed you too because Ginger was laying her her head on his arm like okay daddy it's time to go watch TV yeah and this is my progress okay and it's teaching this one in um Atomic Ranch Dune um I'm thinking it's 18 yeah it's 18 counts mm -hmm. and um uh, when I do this one first, this palm tree, and there I count to here, and there I'm, I'm, uh, I made this other one. Well, when I'm coming here, I found out I was one stitch away, away, and I'm frog all, and I do it again. And there, when I'm uh, coming on this side, because I'm, I'm starting this corner and go down that way. And then I'm coming this other corner and coming down this way. And I was short. The palm tree was one stitch too short. Too high. Yeah, too. Too high. Yeah. And I had to frog it and redo it again. Yeah. But that frog is loving me. Yeah. Now, the reason he couldn't just wing it and go with it is because, um, the pattern is very symmetrical, so it would have shown one side had one stitch and one side had two stitches. It would have been very obvious. Mm -hmm. um, that's why he, and then he only was like one, on the one that was too short, it was like one, um, one two stitches that he skipped in the county. So he had to go up so far until he got to it and then add it. No, another. this farm, I'm, I'm removed from All of it? Yeah. No, this one. And that one. That one? Yes. I'm, I'm fixed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm fixing. All right. But yeah, this one I had to frog complete. Oh, one of these one I frog complete. <laughs> but yeah, the frog is visiting me. And, but that is my whip, and I'm happy. It's very pretty. With my progress. Yeah. And uh, you see the angel? The angel have these empty spaces. It's that way, but I'm going to fill it up with uh, beads because I don't like looking at empty spaces. Okay. I'm going to do a little changes in my little customization on purpose. Yes. All right. So I am stitching Kathy Barrick's North Pole. This is, was her new release a few weeks ago. Uh, I've changed the, the, the pinky colors to more red for, for me. And I'm using a blue fabric, which is the exclusive color from uh, Fox and Rabbit Fabric at the Month Club from, from Garon. So this is called um, Glacier Melt. And then I'm stitching it with the NPI silks. And these are, um, the reds are actually NPI too. There's two different reds. It's just slightly different. I didn't go too drastic with the two differences because the two pinks were very close. So this is the edge of the piece. Beauty. Down there. So I'm on the last page. So it was three pages. So I'm on the last page. So I'm on the edge here and that's the edge over there and so then uh, I got to do his legs a bunch of trees like three reindeer finish his staff and then all that white blue it's going to pretty much blend in there but I think it's going to give it a good texture 
It's gorgeous. Yeah, I I love this piece. I love the color of these shoes. It's it's not it's a giving difference. Yeah, it's not a traditional Santa, but it's very European because most of my Christmases were in Germany, so it reminds me of that mm. feel. It's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous. I, I just I love. This I love piece. this change color. Yeah, it's giving more life. All right, so I will put. Oh. oh. I'm gonna put a table for you. Nope, I'm gonna table. So, um, so Ronnie's starting a sale, um, oh, no, yes. uh, December first. It's a stocking sale, sale. So, um, if you have a stocking already started, you can pick it up and work on it with Ronnie. His goal is to try to have his done by December first of next year. So he, we figured up if he did about 300 stitches a week, he should get there. That's a rough, very rough estimate and it was done on the safe side so if he does 300 stitches a week i think he's going to be finished by october but we'll just tell him november december but it'll be done early but i'm so happy that too many people in the in the group and here in the in the flush tube yeah has joined me with the sound mm -hmm. so we were, so we were asked for a hashtag so we can post their picture their picture i couldn't decide on which one there's a little snarky one and a, just a boring one. I think the snarky one is fun. So here's the first one that I like. It's called hashtag Ronnie sock it to me, Sal. It's a stocking is a sock. And he, and he roped you guys all in. I like that one. So let's go with that one. So I'll put the, you hashtag, have the boss. hashtag down here on the bottom for for Ronnie's uh, stocking, Sal. And um, a sow, remember everyone, is just a start along. It's not a stitch along. So you can start as many stockings as you want. Yeah. Uh, there's no rules on finishing it. You know, it's it's a it's fun. You know, you pick it up, stitch mm -hmm. on it a couple of days a week or yeah. or once a week or once a month, whatever you want to do. And so, uh if you guys um I'm thinking I start the first. Well, it's gonna be the start the first. If you start you really good. Uh, one lady, one of the girls say she was started, I'm thinking last night or today, mm -hmm. is good too. Yeah. Um, uh, it's no rules, it only is just a stitching. Yeah. And do sunny stitches a day. Yeah. And you can post your update photos in the Garon Facebook page. Yes, please. And then that way it'll motivate others. Like yeah. my stocking, um, it's not <coughs> a Christmas stocking, it's an autumn stocking. It's, um, Olga's. August autumn stocking, I think that's what it's called. I know it's August stocking. And I started Karen. I started it in 2021 and I have probably maybe a hundred stitches if any that much. Yeah, so so this is the perfect style for me. It kind of like gives me the excuse to pick this up and work on it a little bit. I think I have to do probably, cause it's really long and I think I have to do like 400 stitches a week to stay up with, with them. I can do that. That's... And he surprised me when he said he got you in my side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking it's Karen, Fox and Rabbits. She go do the same stacking too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, I'm so happy as too many people yeah. go join me. I appreciate it. So, so the, the message there is it doesn't have to be a Christmas stocking. It could be an autumn stocking, a Halloween stocking. They've got them out there. Yeah. It could be a bunch of like the Blackbird has those, those little books by the month. It could be a bunch of little bitty stockings. It's just have fun with it. JBW's got a lot of cute little stockings. Yeah. So even if you just did one and you participated one month and you finished your stocking, you went on. It's it's all fun. Yeah, it's, it is. It's the spirit of the style. Yeah. So we have... This could be my second style. My third style? I think so. When I started stitching, the first one was the Texas Rose, mm -hmm. Yellow Rose. Yeah, you had about a couple people. Yeah, I have a couple of people there. And, then you did and your... there I do the other one with uh, Gina. Yeah, which is a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, just... that no, was there, one. There were three of you. Weren't there three or four of you? Um, Vicky. Vicky, yeah. Vicky, Vicky was doing, but I think she stopped it for some reason. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so happy that, that, mm -hmm. that you guys joined me. It is record okay. I'm just making sure it's recording because it's looking weird, isn't it? Weird because it's like on the side here instead of the top. Mm -hmm. the, the oh, yeah, regular, yeah, it's recording. Yeah, it's weird because the numbers normally are at the top and it's on the side for some reason. 
I don't know. We'll see how this goes. We may be re redoing it. But... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll go with it. So let's go right. with what's new in the shop. First, yes. I want to show two things from uh, 141 um, Chant Chantel's 141 Design Company. Uh, these are wood frames that's used for um, the proper stitcher. She, she released two patterns, and I'll pop the pictures of those patterns next to these once when I show them. Uh, this is the stable, and this was the one from her, um, from the proper stitchers pattern, uh, his gift. So it, these are two pieces. They come apart. I saw on the on the website that they come apart, and I guess you sandwich your piece in there. So um, that's a pretty cute piece. You got to finish it yourself, or you can leave it natural if you wanted to. I don't yeah. think yours would fit because it's in a manger in a manger. Mm. It would kind of. Okay. A little weird because we'll I see. that one is just um the nativity, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah no, mine have you have the um, manger, yeah. everything, yeah. yeah. And then the other okay. one is called Yuletide, and I don't remember the name of the pattern, but I will show the pattern below. It's a it's another one from the proper stitcher, and this one she she did they did like a pink wash or something on there. But I thought it'd be super cute for any other pattern because it's got like little gifts in the bottom here, little gift there. You could even use this board and decorate it for like someone's birthday. Or um, you know what? I'm, I just coming in my head. Mm -hmm. The Christmas tree. A Christmas tree? Which the, one? Like the Christmas tree. The the um, hands on the sign. The ones I just finished. Oh yeah, you could pick one of those. You and could put it in pick there. one of those. Put it a magnet in the back. Mm -hmm. glue a magnet and you can switch the oh, yeah. three christmas trees mm -hmm. yeah. and and how i'm thinking is and see other christmas trees yeah because um, that would be cute because yeah. the presents are in the bottom yeah because jbw's got a lot of little christmas trees too yeah yeah, yeah. one christmas tree there in, in the center mm -hmm. with all the presents on the bottom i'm thinking yeah. that would be cute yeah. too and well i was thinking like birthday also because it's got presents so you could put like somebody's uh little birthday that, thing there so you could use this for multiple things i think it's yeah. a cute very flexible piece and i, I thought it was super cute yeah there's no need to be only one shot in there is what i'm trying yeah. to say yeah there's a lot because if things. you glue magnet and the board and magnet and the piece mm -hmm. and switch it yeah all, just just uh, from personal experience if you're going to glue a magnet on here and then you have multiple projects that you stitch, you're gonna glue magnets on. Make sure the magnets are glued so that they attract and not re repel each other. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be like, why won't this stick on there? <laughs> Just speaking from personal experience. <laughs> yeah. It could happen. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got some really cool um, charts. charts to show today. Some of them just came in a few minutes ago. I'm going to do board for the little, little trinkets. Yeah. This one is from uh, Just Nan. It's a reprint but it's perfect for this time of year. It's called Christmas Elegance. And um, it comes with the beads and some little little metal charmies Yeah, here. when I want to yeah. show. So this is the piece right here. Um, it, and when I loaded it on our website, I just loaded it with the DMCs and the Krynix. Uh There are other kind of um, threads that's used, but I think DMCs are just as, would be work perfect for this piece. Yeah. This is all the beads coming in the, the little metals, gold metals. Me, is metal? Well, it was something gold. A little jewelry. Yeah. And the, all the beads yeah. coming yeah, the beads, with the, the beads go with the, where the snowflakes are. And I would think that this, I, there's some number eight uh, pearl cotton. And I think the number eight pearl cotton is used for the snowflakes. Because it's pearl cotton white and ecru. And that's what it looks like to me. That, that's super cool. Okay, there's that. And um, for those of you that do, that do the Just Nan um, mice, I believe uh, this one might be the last one in her Christmas series. I don't know if there's going to be any other in, in the series, but this is the Christmas Eve mouse. And he's super cute there. Look at him. He's got like a little clock on there. because he's And it, of course, she always sends a little hook for the tail. And the little piece that goes on the bottom, all the little beads Put and stuff. That way. There we go. All Your the little finger beads. Sorry, sorry. All the little beads and stuff there. 
um, that you would need. Oh, some of these are like uh, white and red beads. That's interesting. I've never seen dual tone. Like beads candy like, cane. Yeah, they're little candy canes. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. It goes like around the little, mm -hmm. around the little mouse, like a little garland. Yeah. So that's a cute one. We just got those in. Now this next one is another one from Just Nan, and um, it's these are very limited kits. We were only able to get three of them for the shop, and she already said that they were all sold out. So they are, it's called Santa's in the house. I'll show you what it looks like. So you, it's a little metal tin. You get the little metal tin. So you're not stitching the house, you're just stitching the Santa. And then you get this little pin to, to put in yeah. there too. So it's coming the pen and some beads. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what it's coming. Just a couple of beads, it's not too many. Yeah, you only need a few beads. It's like yeah. a, in the corner for the um for the yeah. holly. That is. But that's a super cute. That's all the beads you need. Yeah. yeah. That's a cute yeah. team. And it's done on 32 count. I'm not sure if it's done over one. I think it <laughs> no, I don't think it's done, done over one. I think it fits right in there. Not a lot of stitching. But a, a fun little present. Oh, I think this goes with that. All right. Mm. No, I don't have it. Oh. Yeah, because oh, this one goes the other one. <laughs> All right. This next one is from Jardine Purve. It's called Ambience, Ambience Noel. And uh, they finished it. They stitched it, and then they finished it as a little bag. But I think it's a perfect little piece just to stitch and frame, like in a brick breakfast area. Or oh, a pillow. Or ooh, a pillow would be cute. Pillow would be cute. Yeah. gorgeous. So it's got the little cookies and all the little sparks. I love the the Christmas lights coming around there. You could you know f play with those and, and make them. It's all stitched with DMC, so it's very easy to change. Are you jingling? <laughs> so that's a cute one. I like that one too. Yeah. And then we have the last one in the series from Sweet Wing Studio. This is a little winter. So she did a little spring, a little summer, a little autumn, and now here's a little winter. And this one's got like some purple birds in there. So it's very soft. They're not very big. And it's done with classic color works, DMC, gentle arts. So it's, it's like- DMC alternatives. Yeah, and alternatives. So it's basically, when you're done on 32 count, it's like five and a half by three and a half. So it's a little, like a little postcard kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. So that would be easy to pop in and out of like if you had a special little board for the seasons. So that's always like that. Now, when I showed my finish on this one last, no, the week before, we had a lot of people asking for this pattern. This is from Raise the Roof. It's Christmas Land. And I'll pop in the picture of mine because this is very small and hard to see. So I'll pop in my finish again so you can see the details of this piece. It's so pretty. It was, it was really fun to stitch. Um, you may or may not need the buttons, but we can still get the button packs. I think we have some in the stock. Hmm, that's good. Yeah. Soup Tree Farm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. This is a brand new one from Shepherd's Bush. It's called Thankful Bag, just in time for Thanksgiving. Um, and it's done on one of those... Um, plaid bags it's done on what they call bur the color is burlap or tan so you've got um you got the pattern for the bag and the pattern for these two other little pillows here now if you didn't want to stitch it on a bag you could stitch it on a regular piece of fabric the saying is just super cute you could do it on that um when because it's for the bag the pattern lists the pearl cotton in weeks dye works and the pearl cotton in dmc and those easily convert over to six-stranded floss so you could stitch it on a regular fabric. And as, you know, a little. as you know, I'm sorry. As you know, uh, next month is Shepherd's Bush. Um, and here is a little chart at the back. Mm -hmm. They say thankful, thankful for the stitching. Yeah, so it's like a little scissor fob. Yeah. It's cute. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. All right. Um, it's coming through little patterns. Yeah, I, uh, two little patterns yeah. with the large one. I had more of this pattern in stock, but uh, some of you are getting pretty smart 
and um and checking the website before we post the videos on friday <laughs> so we only have one left but we can get more this is from the designer les petites crows crocs crooks 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 so everyone did got the the um halloween pattern halloween window this is the afternoon in the mountains we do also have the christmas one on order oh, so this yeah. is more wintry like a january theme or just winter in in, in general this is beautiful. so cute and they do the um uh this white is not stitched so you don't have to worry about stitching all that white oh there. you're doing that white fabric. you're doing a white fabric um there's see they do have some half stitches that'll give you some of the shading like fading this is fading in the back those are done with with half stitches so it's not a lot of stitching i'm thinking that will be beautiful and um hey what is my fabric that i'm going to use for the stocking with the all the sparkles. sparkles oh yeah like an opalescent that would be pretty that would be opalescent. beautiful yeah. An opalescent. Yeah. yeah yeah so this is afternoon in the mountains and Again, we can, we have one, but we can get more. We'll just take a list. Yeah. Once this one's sold you out, you can do we'll it in solid white. But if, yeah. if you do an opalescent, that will be wow, with the sparkles. Yeah. I've got the sparkle looking yeah. like eyes. Yeah, and it's Ada friendly because it's it's shown on Ada, so you could do it on Ada, Lugana, linen, yeah. anything you really wanted. Wow. Yeah. Ed, gorgeous. And this and this week on the fifteenth, we had. Um, wow, this was the fifteenth. This week is <laughs> okay. So this is the two new releases from Nora Corbett. Uh, this is called Cool Butterflies. So here goes butterfly. Look at this, isn't that pretty? I know somebody who yeah. loves butterflies. Yeah, I think I think this one and the next one would be great companion pieces for the last Mirabilia that came out, the one with all the butterflies on the dress. It kind of relates as like a little grouping. And that's cool butterflies. Beautiful. And the next one here is called Blossom Urn. So it's it's really cool because there's like a hedge with flowers in the background. And then there's like a bouquet. And then there's like this urn with the flowers and vines. So you, this is flower a little, it's yeah. a flower pot. So this is one of those ones that you have to study. But it's very cute. I can imagine, just imagine what it's going to look like in person. Because it has got a lot of, it's got four Karen Water Lilies. And we have, I think we have them or we have them on order. So um, those are hey. very cute. Beauty. Yeah. So that means wow. when whenever a pattern is designed, designed with Karen Water Lilies, that means everybody's is going to be unique. Because you're using the same threads, but you're going to get your flowers in different colors on different parts of the, of the piece. So... Okay, um, this one is a restock. This is called Summer Quaker, and it's from Leela Studios. This is, isn't that cute? I love the little mermaid there. Mm. So this is her um, Summer Quaker. So she's got a series of Quakers. Yes, I'm hopefully I'm holding up long enough so you can see all the detail. There's so much detail in this piece. I mean yeah. that's that's a, looks like a very fun one to stitch, and it's got like, like s. It's got summer. The the word the alphabet is like, like there's s u m uh, e r m. -R -R. Yeah, so it's like it's scattered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then here's another re another, um, one that's that's back in the stock. This is Holiday Quaker. Now I've done her. Halloween Quaker, which is right here, and I never really looked at the Holiday Quaker till today, and it's very similar, and it's it's kind of cute, and I have to put it on my list for January, because January is Leela Studios um, Designer Focus Month, so this is the Holiday Quaker. I love the little town down here, and then you got Santa going up that way, and you get some some little elf boots right there. So these are. This is pretty cool. Gorgeous. Yeah. Piece on there. So it's got like little snowman. It's got lots of fun things to stitch in there. And I remember when I was stitching the, the Halloween Quaker, it is, it really is. It's like each little motif or grouping is a finish. And you're like, oh, wow, I finished that. Oh, wow. Let me go to the next one. All right. So 
if you're doing a mistake you could so this is brand new hot off the press i had two people pre-order this so of course i ordered extra for the shop this is the latest uh lila studios this is autumn is as joyful and that's the name autumn is as joyful and it's got a little bit of Halloween in there. I got Thanksgiving. It's got just autumn -y stuff. Look at that. Look at that. The wow. acorn there and with the with the farm and the two squirrels on top. So you got the little what's it, witch's hat is over here. So it's not. And then you got the gorgeous little turkey. Of course, you got a couple cats there. Cats are everywhere. And this is all done in DMC. It's big. It is a big piece and um it's really cute so so it's uh f a f how was it a u t autumn I'm trying to figure out how they spelled it i don't know what this a t u m m i'm trying to okay it, when you get it you have to look in there because you, you follow the letters around to see where it says autumn in there but then there's something else in there too i, I just can't go full i don't know if it's f i can't find the rest of it but we'll move on <laughs> so that's a very cool one and then we have now he's standing see it's it's so it's I can just imagine how pretty that's going to be when it's stitched with I all can those the j that yeah. is there probably. okay i don't know all right it might be a smaller somewhere else they hit it in there this next one is an, a new designer we've got a few of her charts it's called my sister's sampler and it's called isabella king keen isabella keen and this is um it's kind of a christmas one because it's got some feeling of a christmas uh hark the herald the angels sing glory to the newborn king so it is a christmas um sampler and it's very pretty um you know what pass me the chart back i need to look to see if this is over one on the on the letters i just want to give that i'm not going to show it I just just a quick um perfect okay the letters are over two so this is ada friendly as for the letters so this could be done on ada i always like to check that because sometimes they'll do lettering over one and then it's kind of hard for ada stitchers to do it we'll just put it back later okay All right. Me now. <laughs> do it later, yeah. do it now. <laughs> All right. So um the next one here <laughs> is from Threadwork Primitives. What I and I this one's only got three colors. So I always like to pull the patterns that have three colors that kind of speak to me. I pull the original called for colors and then I pull some color variations of different types of threads. Because it's three colors. You could play you could spin a little, you know, use make it a little bit mm -hmm. special. They're little pillows. This is Christmas Duo. So you get the two little pillows. Of course, my favorite pillow is the one with the, the holly and the and the leaves there. Mm -hmm. All right. So the called for colors are, um, let's see, we're going to keep this up. Yes, I know. Uh, the call for colors is Wood Trail, Piney Woods, and use, use Brick. So if you want to flip that over so we could look at on this one. So these are the called for colors. Uh, it's okay. They're cool. Um, but I, I thought, well, you know what? We're, we've all been collecting threads. It's not a big piece. So if you've got some of these threads already, you could probably pop out like for the um, like bell. Here's, here's my color board. So I've got the bell swaz over here. I've got poison apple. For this one, closer to the camera. So poison apple, mm. um, and then uh, collard greens and briar patch. So that would be those three colors for possibility. See, it's it's pulling up a little bit more green and a little bit more of the cranberry color for me, mm. or holly hollyberry. I think they're hollyberries. And then the next one. 
I thought was kind of fun because it's it's silken colors. And this is slug bug, Sherlock Woods, and autumn foliage. I love the autumn foliage because it had so much variegation. All the berries would look a little bit different, which just mm -hmm. is what they should look. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, of course, as many of us have been starting and collecting the cottage garden threads, look at this. You could even do them in the cottage garden thread colors. So you do um, possibly hot co hot coffee ivy or running postman again running postman kind of reminded me of the autumn foliage because it had all that variegation in there and i don't think berries would all be the same color on on the branch i think they would be a little bit dark a little bit light and give you some cool variegation here and there and so you know pick your own colors have some fun with it it's only three colors so it's kind of easy you need a red a green and a brown pop in a DMC too. So. I'm not sure if I'll do this all the time, but I kind of like when I get inspired to do it, I'll I'll do it. You like to change. I like I like to yeah. change because I, you have all those threads. You're 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 in clubs and you're like, "Ooh, I got a brown here, I got a red here, a brown here." So it's kind of fun. Um and then oh wait, we're we're doing this on Friday. What is today? Today is Friday. Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. So we yep. are, yes, we are doing a Black Friday sale on the website. Yeah. Uh, we're, we started it Friday Today. and we will doing be doing it through the weekend and on Cyber Monday as well. So it'll be four days on the website mm -hmm. uh, and it's 15% off uh, selected items. So uh, we've picked some great items and categories. I think there's even a couple of project bags out there that might be on just saying, it's Christmas time. <laughs> yes, it is. And, um, you know, charts and fabrics, a little bit, some interesting flosses um, that, you know, like if you wanted to say, oh, I want to try this floss, it could be pretty good. Yeah. All right. Um, now, we will, we're going to uh, stop right here. And we're going to let you guys watch our um, unboxing, the unboxing of Deck the Halls 2023 um, Christmas box with the designer. And uh, they, I'm not going to say, they're gonna, I'm going to say they will show the models stitched and we will do the unboxing. So if you don't want to watch the unboxing, you better stop now. Yeah. I'm not responsible for any spoilers. Yeah, Three. special Canada and <laughs> other countries. Yep, or even down the street. <laughs> you never know sometimes. Well, yeah. uh, okay, ready? Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. And we're gonna, here to do the unboxing with our host designer. Kathy, hands-on design. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. designing the box. It, it it was a lot of fun. Very fun. And we haven't showed Kathy anything than what we put in it extra. So we're going to surprise her. And hopefully uh, it's okay. Is that proven? Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm excited. You guys ready? So um, this is what the outside of the box looks like. I love it. I love it. So we've got... Okay, which one of you is that? <laughs> I need the reindeer because I'm the Frankenstein guy. Yeah. So, so we got a cute little box. Love it. I, I love the shape shape of your patterns because they fit perfect in this type of box. And there, we're gonna Ooh, get everything it. inside. And there we go. So we always put a letter in of what you're supposed to get. So in case we've missed up, you know, there are Good idea. So don't read the letter until you look at it. And we got a little bit. We got some Ronnie. That, uh, oh. As I do. Uh -oh. <laughs> We have the little tissue paper that I think would be awesome to um, decoupage on some glass or something. Oh, I love it. You had that custom made to match the box? Yeah. Yes. Nice. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's go with, because the chart's on the bottom. So we're going to look at all the goodies first. Okay. So let's look at, so we got with um, my big toe. Oh, the bag coming this way. Oh, yeah. So, so we, my big toe. No, is, no, this is my big toe. Okay, there. Yes. <laughs> There's no training here. So this <laughs> is my big toe. Uh, made a thread. Um, what are these again? 
like a, a thread holder. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Put all your threads on it. Yeah. I love making those. And then Thank we worked. Know, we please. worked with uh, Kelly from that. So Kelly, I love so Kelly. How, how could you not? I couldn't decide. So she did these amazing thread drops. Oh my gosh, I love them. She's so good. And they are like that one right there. And they're laminated, so they're like um, reusable. Yes. So I figured you could use this big ring and the little ring, and yep. just in case you use the wrong marker. We gave the call for markers. So Kelly is, was so great to work with. She even had instructions on how to use them, what to clean them with, what to use them with. So this. Yeah, I've, I've worked with Kelly on a couple of projects and she's awesome. I know. That's why I picked Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and um, let's see what we got. We'll show the little bag. This is the floss. Uh, Every So you could probably open one little bag at a time, but I don't have those kind of patience. <laughs> so what, Are they supposed to wait when they get their box or can they open? A lot of them actually wait until they do the unboxing with us. So some, some nice. of them, that's two weeks of waiting. I am not that patient. And one yeah, lady, no, her husband either. took her box and has it wrapped under the tree. That's the a cool idea. And the Halloween box. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, right. yeah. So, so this um, pattern is all um, with Weeks I Works. Uh, we did provide full skeins of the DMC, even though you're going to only use like a smidge. But hey, yeah. you got it. You always need some skeins of something. Sure. And guess what? This is um, this is 945, which is a perfect flesh tone. Okay. One. And I give that to Ronnie. Great little assistant. And... Uh, Lady Dot, this is from Lady Dot. She did an exclusive um, color Red. for us. Velvet. We have love it. We have to come up with a name, Kathy. Oh, did we not name it? No. Oh. This is a bluey teal. Yes. Yeah. I was carrying this around with me at market. And I'm like, Kathy, can we use this? <laughs> you showed me two colors. Do you remember? Yeah. And and I kind of lean towards the one and I remember looking at you and you're like, oh good, that's the one I like. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's all pre-cut. So guess what? There's three pieces for some reason. All right. Yep, <laughs> this stuff gets everywhere. Let's see, what else do we want to look at? Um, I'm, I'm really tempting you guys. So let's look at the next little thing here. I love these little bags. This is the best part of a box. I love. Yeah. So I'm showing you a bunch of things and you still don't know what, what it is. <laughs> so we have finishing items. So this is a map board from the finishing size mm -hmm. and a ton of warm and natural three pieces each for the front, right? Uh, yes. Yep. And then none on the back. Please. Correct. Yep. I and do. I can talk about that a little bit if you'd like, okay. you know, yeah, after, okay. after you're done. Yeah, we can do that. All right, there's that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, well, since we're in finishing, a little finishing thing. This one, you okay. had me do math. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we have two more skeins of DMC, and these are for finishing. So you have to do the cording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have a tutorial on the cording? I don't, but I recommend, I always tell people to go to Vana, the Twisted Stitcher. Yeah. She yeah. does a great, I, I'm kind of like, why should I do one? I just send them there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, there's that. And there's some finishing ribbon that I had to calculate that you needed three pieces each. <laughs> so you get to cut it, but it should be five inches, each piece of five inches. But I figured some people might want to make it like five, four, three. Or sure. Or maybe just one and put a bow. So that's why I left it as one link. Sure. I okay. kept ordering. I'm, I'm sorry to say, Gary, but there is math in cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered some. I started cutting and I'm like, ooh, I'm like not even a third way. I order some more. Okay, I'm halfway. Order some more. <laughs> They probably thought I was nuts where that was ordered here. <laughs> if I screw up somewhere when I'm kidding something, it is always the ribbon. I, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so 
here is the fabric. The fabric is by uh, Fabrics by Stephanie. Mm -hmm. And this kit is a 32 count. So we did two counts. We did 32 and 16. So yep. we kind of got both our market. And this color is Angel Angel Wing. Angel Wing, yep. Times grayy blue. Look, and it's pre-cut and Ronnie surged it. Nice. So look at that. So you will be cutting it to your piece, but sometimes it's easier to stitch them all together. And maybe yep. you don't need a lot of space around. I know you gave a lot of extra room on here, but if mm -hmm. you look at those little pieces, you don't need a lot. Yeah. You can not even use all this fabric, just saying. Mm. If you're a thrifty stitcher, you could probably get a couple more things out of it. <laughs> I am not a thrifty stitcher, so. <laughs> I stitch in the middle and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just enough. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go to the next little item. Oh my gosh, another cute bag. Yeah. Ronnie's like, where do you find these bags at? I said, I don't know. I just looked. This one, this is my favorite one right here. It's a little matchbox of Ronnie the reindeer. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. No matches included because inside is a needle minder. So we got the size 28 needle. Okay, you want to hold that? Okay. And then, of course, you pick three green headed straight pins. Mm -hmm. that, why could I not? How could I not provide the green? There you go. Nice. I love you guys are putting everything in it. It's awesome. I love that. And then um, I'm going to open this one up so you guys can see it because uh, this is a great company that makes needle minders for us. That is adorable. So it's a metal, it's all metal. And then, so there's nothing really, there's nothing glued on here. Uh -huh. Okay. Th they did mount this one. <laughs> Every time it's different. So there's like the two needles is also. So, That's amazing. I love, I love it. it. And now the best part. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I have to take it out. All plus, all charts come out of plastic. Uh uh, look at I love the little angel. red horse. Oh my God. So this is angel. the deck, the halls, and look at the little angel. And this is so cute. I mean, the colors are really perfect. Yeah, good, good. I love well, the reds and the reds. And well, when we talked, when you asked me to do this, I asked you, and I put the story on the chart. I asked you, like, how you decorate your tree. And you guys were still in Florida at the time. And if you had said, we do flamingos, I'd be like, hey, I'm your girl, you know. <laughs> Oh, and, you and, then, <laughs> and then you showed me your tree and i can't remember but i remember i remember number one it was very full you 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 decorate a tree <laughs> and you're like me though and and i just remember that there was all different color you had like some traditional colors and then you had some brights and i just i loved the mix of it so that's what i wanted for for this for you guys uh do um every little branch has something on it and then we were at the antique market earlier, later, like, over the weekend, mm -hmm. and um, eight more ornaments. I said, ooh, and they're like, where can you put them at? On the tree. So I found <laughs> and said, How tall is your tree? Uh, it's eight foot. Okay. Okay. It's on, yeah. it's on a spinner, so it's a little bit taller because the spinner makes it taller. Sure. But it's, yeah. a, it's a thin, it's a slim uh, pre-lit tree, so. Okay, nice, nice. Well, do you, do you want me to show off the actual models? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well, here you go. Hopefully everybody can see them. Okay, so there's your, um, I kind of, okay. So in, in we'll say a few words about the finishing. When you look at the chart, you're gonna see kind of, it's it's meant to be like, as if you're looking at the tree and, and like that's hanging off the branches. So you've got a couple of little branches coming in and then, you know, you can see the detail. So it really does look like an ornament. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted it to look like those um, uh, uh, blown glass ornaments, you know, mm -hmm. that are highly, like they'll have little sparkles on them and kind of a mid-century, but kind of a vintage vibe, if you will. Um, so I, and, and a little, um, almost like a little, um, how do I want to say it, uh, kind of 
Danish, Norwegian kind of look to it. So I take all those things and, and mix them up. And that's what these are. <laughs> so, um, so I just, yeah, I just love this horse. And um, he's, there are a few a specialty stitches in there, but that's fully charted. You know, I, I love a good Smyrna cross. I tried to hit all the details for back stitching and whatnot. And um, so you see, there's a lot of like um, stitches like that, that like kind right of at the, at the top there with a the that goes really quick with a little back. Stitch it there. does. And when you're finishing them, when you're laying that on the, the ovals, this actually kind of disappears off the edge. So if you can kind of see it goes right over the edge, excuse me, I need a, I need a Kleenex. We talked about our hats, our matching hats here, and it's making me a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> But so that's your, that's your horse. Yeah. And then we have a little, a pretty little bird. And I actually have an ornament very similar to this I on my tree. Do you? Um, a and you red horse too. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, good. I don't have a horse. Actually, I have a rocking horse and that was originally what I was going to do, but he was the last one I designed. And by the time I got to it, a rocking horse didn't quite fit the theme. So I went. So he doesn't rock, <laughs> but, um, but I just, I just had fun kind of with the colors and kind of making the little jewels and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, and then this little angel. I love the angel. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually have an angel very, very similar to this. Um, growing up, I had uh, two sisters and we were every year we were given a new angel ornament mm -hmm. and I have kind of a Danish angel, um, that now she's actually uh, more somber colors, um, but her shape is very, very similar to this. So that was kind of what I was channeling when I um, designed. So you'll want to kind of make sure when you go to finish, like to center the bottom, because you're going to be like, gosh, if you center the whole design, this sort of falls off. No, we want this part to fall off. Okay. So it looks like you're um, looking under the tree peeking at all your presents. <laughs> so, and you'll see the, um, you worked with all my favorite people, um, Lois for the, for the Velveteen. Yes. And um, I did put some finishing instructions in the chart. And um, so really finishing an oval is very much like finishing a circle. Um, so, and I do have a couple videos out there about finishing circles. Uh, they're very simple to finish. And the the three layers of batting, I actually lined the back of the ornament. Mm -hmm. I did not put any under the velveteen. A lot, most times I usually do, but velveteen is poofy enough, I guess is the right word. You know what I'm saying? I what's the technical term for? I didn't feel like it needed any batting. If you want to, you can, but I mine did not. Um, it it has some some loft to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, and I just, I love the, the, the color. And then I chose the, um, the gold, you know, you gave them plenty of uh, extra DMC for, mm -hmm. uh, the, the trim. And then I kept the top really simple. Um, just trim that little bit of, uh, of, of the, 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 uh, ribbon that you so carefully measured <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's really in there. Um, here, I'm going to show this, like, I don't, I, I, it's really in there with a pin. So if that gets worn or, you know, sometimes when you put your ornaments away and they maybe get crinkled or wrinkled and you can't get it to lay nicely, just pull that pin out, get yourself some new ribbon and then tuck it back in there. I keep it pretty, pretty easy. Okay. So when you did the cording on the outside, you, you, <laughs> you put it all the way up and then you. The, yes. The I'll take this out so you can see. Cording. So um, when I did the cording, yeah, I started attaching it down here yeah. and then I stopped up here and then you can kind of see, I may, I let it, I did glue this cording. I know I, I always use that four letter word carefully. Um, okay. Not everybody likes to glue for something like an ornament. I'm okay with it. If, if this was like all silk and it was, you know, I, I, it's easy to also hand stitch it on. Um, but for something like this, I, I just, I can't brought it up to here. I made sure that glue dried and then I just did, oops, sorry, an overhand knot right up there. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
And then once it was dried, then I did my knot. And then I like about a three inch drop. I know it's not a rule. It's just what I've always done. Um, back years ago when I was doing finishing for shops, uh, the shop said, oh, a three inch drop, please. And I've just done that ever since. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then I just did an overhand knot up here. And then it gives you like a little, you know, trim yeah. it and then you get like a little tassel. Mm. Oh, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of, to me, it I, sort of adds to the layer. Um, and I, think, I think you could probably do like, you do the three in the red and then you, if you wanted to do a, like a little different color, you could make a, like a set yeah. of nine or something in different um, colors because they're easy. The red is easy to pop out and pop your purple in or uh -huh. whatever you, you like green, lime green. <laughs> lime yeah, green. If you, exactly. Know. You know, you really with uh, the hand dyes, there's like, yeah, there's two different, you know, two different, a light and a dark green. So yeah, if you wanted to switch those out and maybe be a little more traditional colors you know i think it'd be easy to do but these were just fun jewel tones i thought oh, yeah, perfect. i really just liked them honestly i like the angel but it's kind of a toss-up between these two i'm kind of leaning towards the all three play well very well together they're all they all look like some of the same culture same style yes yeah. and if you kind of notice what i did with the um the branches like on this one they're coming this way and this one they're going that way and then on the angel it's kind of coming from both directions oh that's perfect mm -hmm. so kind of you could you know have them like yeah. okay like that <laughs> oh shoot sorry this way <laughs> <laughs> so um mm -hmm. anyway but there you go I, I had so much fun doing these for you guys. Um, thank you so much for asking me to do this. And uh, and and like I said, it was kind of fun. Um, a little background because people, you know, it, it's fun to do these projects. And you guys were so open to like, uh, you know, um, I, I think I literally emailed you and said, okay, I've already talked to Lady Dot and I've already talked to Stephanie. So you just need to get in touch with them. <laughs> Here's what they're going to do. <laughs> And, and, and I'm like, okay, now you need this and now you need that. And now you need this. <laughs> the only, so, yeah. The only thing we didn't provide is the cording for the lacing because we figured what if someone wants to tape or glue or right. have their own type of brand according they like. And that, that I got over, I overthought it because it wasn't a design function on the outside that I could easily right. fit. Right. So what I use for lacing um, is an upholstery weight thread. Mm -hmm. You can get that at any big box store, um, get like an upholstery weight or a doll making thread. Um, if you have, I've even been known to use like a number 12 pearl cotton. So if you've got like a ball of that on hand at the house, you can definitely use that too. Um, but typically what I lace with uh, is, is like an upholstery weight. And mm -hmm. because it is nice and um, sturdy, it's, it's, um, it's a nylon, it's not cotton. So cotton will have a little give to it, um, which is why I like the upholstery weight, but um, uh, one ply, you know, one strand of it. And I definitely suggest to, um, especially not so much for the linen, but when you're lacing this part, get yourself a sharp needle. Mm -hmm. um, it's e easier to go through the, the, any kind of, whether it's the velveteen or if you do any kind of cotton backing fabric, you're going to want, don't use your tapestry needle because they'll be cursing all of us. <laughs> it's hard to make that go through. <laughs> so you can, you can um, on, the, on the backing fabric too. I, I uh, when I do a, a shape, I do. Oh, cool. Mm. Now, if I was just doing, um, a, a square or rectangle, I probably would do like the, the stitchery tape. Mm -hmm. um, on the back. I started doing that back when I was doing finishing full time because, you know, you're looking at a table full of ornaments and something's got to speed up a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but when it's a shape, um, I do lace the back. So, but it goes pretty quickly. But, um, but yeah, there, if you look, there's a lot, it, the, really the oval, I would say is very similar to um, lacing a, a circle. So there's some videos out there. I have a couple of floss tube videos where I'm doing different projects, but lacing a circle is part of it. So, um, and we'll pop some of those links in the description down below. Right. So, yeah. You know, you've got a lot of I, great videos for. Yeah, but, I think I don't know. I just they they were a lot of fun, and I was hoping that they would mix well in your tree. And I was inspired by your tree, and just kind of I don't know. I. 
I channeled my inner Gary and Ronnie. What would they want? To do? <laughs> Without the line. I, okay. And once I got the Frankenstein out of the way. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. There's no Frankenstein. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the letter in the back of the oh, chart. It's so sweet of you. I yeah, love well, I I, I really appreciate you guys asking me to do this and kind of having uh, faith that I would do something that you would like. <laughs> um, I'm and putting together such an awesome box. You you hit it with all the vendors. Um, they're all awesome uh, business owners and people. And I I it's no lie that obviously I like working with um, people in the industry to kind of create a product for the stitcher. And you guys you guys hit it out of the park. Yeah, Thank every you. every all the vendors that we worked with are very great to work with. Um, they yeah. stayed within the timeline. We always give, you know, we try to do the earliest timeline because we know planning and everything. And in our and because we're a little we're a little uh, controlling, <laughs> we always like to have everything like you way, the, the, we we like to have everything way early. So we're sitting there looking at boxes for two months, but they're all done. <laughs> It's all that matters. Yeah. No, no, no last that's time. the way to be. So. <laughs> So, so now we kind of miss them because the, it, the house is empty without their little boxes or all. Little yeah, boxes. you're like, where did all this room come from? <laughs> uh, right. So we posted on Facebook the picture of all the packages because we had they were in an over plastic bag that had mm -hmm. things on it. You know, we, right. we the theme. We didn't, you know. And then so um, we, Ronnie and I, we put them all up under the tree, and he took a picture and posted on Facebook. So the tree, you have a Christmas tree up already. Oh yes! Oh yeah! Fierce. November first. <laughs> I am not surprised. I am not surprised. Hey, we do it early so that we're not we're we're waiting. We're not waiting on someone else. Yeah, our cat. We on all the time we are together. As we talked about before, we we have it all everything all listed all mm -hmm. through there, so you know what you've got, and um we. Yeah, we put the people that we used in there so that you know who the it's everything's from. Okay. And um I think Ronnie the reindeer is a big hit. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's so cute. Now, did you know about back when we talked? Did you know you were gonna do Ronnie the reindeer? No, no, no. Uh people were asking because they said, okay, all the little Frankenstein needle minders have looked like Gary. We need a needle minder that looks like Ronnie, and they wanted an elf, but all the elves were looking a little creepy. I don't know. I couldn't find a, yeah. the elf picture that I wanted. So I said, yeah. you know what? There's a, there's a reindeer with a green sweater on. I know a guy that wears green. <laughs> I love it. No, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Ronnie the reindeer. So that's awesome. So. So uh, again, thank you guys for participating and watching the video. And I'm. Yeah. And thank you, Kathy, for all you. Oh, thank Thank you. And thank you to all the stitchers and i hope you enjoy the ornaments and um I, I hope you enjoy them as much as i had um fun designing them and um and just hope they grace your tree and you enjoy them and as you guys as everyone knows at any exclusive uh we the shops have it for the limited time that we had the boxes and then it'll be released in about one year so mm -hmm. time next year check out uh we'll have it available for everybody else yep. This right is now, just, just for you all right now <laughs> right now as of the video all the boxes are sold out so um we just want to make sure you're not stressing out over looking for but they will be uh the pattern will be available in about a year new yeah. and we um sorry about ronnie the reindeer he is a one-time deal uh the lady dot velveteen once we get a name for her we're gonna we're gonna stock that because i love that color yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We'll have to, we'll have to, actually, I think you guys should name it. Ooh. Just tell Lois, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> tell, it's, we're, it's on video. So you can go, well, if you watch the video, Kathy said, <laughs> <laughs> she'll love that. <laughs> so um, thank you everyone again. Yes. Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye y'all. Love you. Wow, did you guys like that? <laughs> okay, that was so cool. Um, yes. I want to show, I know we had a dual screen, so you might not have been able to see some of the stuff super close unless you have like a 70 inch TV or 65 or just zoomed in. So I want to show you a what the what the pattern looked like. 
Mm -hmm. um, this is my copy, of course. So this is Deck the Halls. It's three little designs right there. And um, and we want to thank everyone who participated in this year's box. Yes. First of all, we want to thank Kathy from Hands On Design. She did an amazing, amazing job. Um, she helped me with all the little, she says, what about this? What about that? Oh, do you like this? I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And then she did the amazing little story on the back of her inspiration from our Christmas tree. Yeah. And um, that always gives me goosebumps when I read that. And then we want to thank um, Stephanie from Fabrics by Stephanie. Thank you, for, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, for working with Kathy and picking the perfect color fabric for this project. And then we want to also thank Lois from Lady Dots Creates. Uh, Lois created an exclusive hand-dyed velveteen that's exclusive for Garon. Yeah. And we will be stocking it later on in the year. We'll give you some information maybe next week or so. We'll let you know what's going on. And then we want to thank um, My, My Big Toe. Toe. And we also want to thank That's So Kelly. Um, they they uh, were so great to work with. They are always gracious. They are amazing. I don't know how they do get done what they do, but all of these uh, ladies are just amazing. Amazing. Amazing yeah. to work with. Uh, yeah. We we do um, plan our, our requests out two years in advance. So, and then we catch up with people every now and then, see how's it going, what do they need, how are we still on schedule? So we try not to be that um, last minute deciding person all the time. <laughs> so yeah. they are, uh, we are very grateful for all the help the designers for the bags mm -hmm. give us. Yeah, it's it's no worse to express our grati yeah. gra gratitude. Gr gratitude, yes, yes, totally. We are totally blessed with that. Yeah, and thank you so much. And this chart will be released uh, in about probably a year, 12 months from the day of the box. Release. Release. Yeah. For, for mass production. Um, <coughs> we are sold out. We have no charts. Um, so it will be in 12 months. Yeah. All right. And as many of you know, we are still in November. And November is the designer focus month for Kesslin. Mm -hmm. Kesslin contacted us a couple of weeks ago. Yes. She said she was... Uh, a friend of her watched our video and told her to watch in our video. Yeah, so she watched... And she was very kind to take their time because, you know, for me, designers have their hands full all the time yeah. with activities, with designing and all. And they take the time to watch our, our frost tube. It's, it's a, a blessing. Yes. Yeah. So, so Kesslin, Linda from Kesslin, she sent us a few patterns for us to give away on our channel for our viewers. So, um, when we do these drawings, we we just ask that you don't say uh, freebie giveaway, any of those words that the spammers and hackers will try to get the stuff away from you. Uh, we we do the drawings for you guys and not for people who are not stitchers. Yes. Um, and so we, we do ask that when we do the drawing and we tag you on your comment that you've won, please email us. The email is in the bottom. If you have problems with the email, you can always go onto our website and do the contact me or message us in Facebook. Um, the last two drawings, we have unclaimed charts. Yeah. We will be reaching out to them again another time this week. Um, for them to get with us to give us their address on their winning. Please, please, we need your address because uh, the problem for us is when you had your name in the flush tube, you had different name in Facebook. <laughs> yeah. And we never got it, the real name, and it's hard. We cannot reach you. Yeah. So the only way to reach many of you, you is through your email us yeah that way we can get your your mailing address and ship it to you yeah so with that being said we have uh linda sent us five patterns and i think it's a thank great you thing. linda you're watching us again <laughs> <laughs> so these are a great selection of patterns and i think they're super fun and cute the first one is for the birds and it's that little pattern there so, so it's perfect for autumn 
It's not Halloween. And then you can always finish it in like a little box or something. That's a suggested finish there. So the, um, the phrase to get this pattern is bird, B-I-R-D. <laughs> so this one right here is the first one. All right. And the next one is called Summer Postcard. So cute. cute. I love this song. Yeah, it's very fun. And the yeah. and this one, the code word is summer. I'm very creative with my code words. Um, and these are mostly all stitched with DMC. So they're like an 8x10. They'll fit in an 8x10 frame. Easy for you to practice your framing. Mm -hmm. And here is one just in time for Christmas. It's called a deer Christmas. So this is what it looks like when it's unfolded. So you could frame it that way. I thought it looked cute that way too, as a little pillow maybe, or as a 3D little ornament. And either you do the white and red or the red and white, or you could do it both ways and have a bunch of them on your tree. If you're really adventurous, do six of white and six of the red and, and have 12 on the tree. So this uh, code word for this one is deer, D-E-E-R. And then we've got, oh. this one's funny. These are so funny. This is called Winter Postcard. Look at the little bird. He's just having a good old time. So this one, the code word is winter. All right. And then we have one more. And this is the Spring Postcard. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of cat people is going to be working to get this one. It's so wow. cute. It's the Spring Postcard. Look at that. It's only two colors. I think it's only two colors. Yeah. And this is, the code word is spring. So, yeah. It, and they all, all these little postcards fit in an 8 by 10 when you stitch it on 28 count. So, super easy, inexpensive for framing. If you wanted to do a little piece for, um, thinking it might be a little too big. Well, it might be a little too big for a small exchange because mm. it's 8 by 10. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Unless you wanted to stitch it on something higher than 28 count and make it smaller into a pillow, you could do that. Like yeah. 18 count or 36 count would make it a little bit smaller. But thank you again from uh, Linda from Kesslins for these uh, lovely charts. So kind of you. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, we put a lot of information in our drop down menu below. We put um, the designer focus, uh, designer focus designers for this year. And we also have the list of designer focus by month for next year down below. Mm. We have our framers information down below that we use and our finishers um, information down below. And I'm trying to think of other interesting things. Um, information about the, the the retreat which is um currently full and it's gonna be here before we know I because know, the so time excited. is running crazy yeah. it's about to speed up too <laughs> yes yes um one announcement is i'm working with the uh many girls asking me i'm gonna do a christmas bags for their i forgot one, one. For their stocking, and I'm working on, and I hope next week I can show you guys what I'm working on. Yeah. What you forgot? Back to this. What day is the drawing? Have it written oh, down? Oh, she's yeah. great. Yes. So, so we're going to do the drawing in two weeks. So it will be uh, December the 8th. Okay. So still in time for you to do some, if you wanted to gift one of those as someone for a gift, you could stitch it really quick. Yes. Yeah. So good luck to y'all. Yes, good luck to y'all. And um thank you. Thank what you. Important things to yeah. forget the date. <laughs> yeah. So that means uh so you're working on bags. I thought yes, I was, yes, Christmas bags. Yes, Christmas bags. Yeah. Yeah, because a couple of girls asking me for for yeah. uh Christmas Christmas prints for putting their stockings. Their stockings, okay. Yeah. So next week's video will give you more information on we ready. We have our uh, stockings in uh, in a Christmas bag, the uh, bag of the month last year. Oh yes, yes, yes. My, this is the Gary had one and I had one because we love the. That was from last year. Yeah, yeah. This is the Christmas 
They're like Christmas gnomes. They're really not Santa Clauses. They're like little elves or something. Yeah, but it's looking like it's very Christmassy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I have mine and one the same. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We have the same bag. What do I? What do I stitch? Oh yeah, I'm stitching my Santa in this bag. I like the big bag for now, but you go put the stuck in there. Yeah. Then. No, my stuck is autumn. Oh, <laughs> mine's in the autumn. I'm thinking bag. you. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. So I need a new autumn bag. Yeah, I had I that. I had that. <laughs> I'm not going there. Yeah. <laughs> he had tons of bags. I had my. Uh, I had that that print for next sale. A couple of oh, that. Oh yes. Yeah. So if you like this bag, it it'll be in the next sale too. Yeah. 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 I cannot love that one because look at this. I love that. Oops. Yeah. I have fun with the inside fabrics. All right. All right. I uh, think. No, wait. We forgot something. <laughs> and we write it down. <laughs> we forgot the fabric. Oh, we we have it's fabric to show. New yes. in the shop. Yes, we have new fabric in the yes. shop. Yes, I just see it. I think it's the, the extra ears. We're we're just yeah. like. Ugh. All right, guys. This is the fabric. Seraphim fabrics. Harvest blessing. This is. 16 counts Ada, mm -hmm. and you can see there. Yeah, I'm sure we showing in show Ada, and we showing in Lennon 32 count linen, little different. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Well, I don't know, this was almost similar. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, how more this one have more color, more green, yeah, blues. Yeah. So I thought these would be great for some autumn -y, um designs. This is 28 count linen. Mm -hmm. And there's 32 count linen as well. I didn't yeah. pull all the fabric. Yeah. And there, this one is Gary. This one is Mysteri uh, Mysterious uh, Woodlands in 16 count Ada. It's 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 got some subtle uh, coloring in it. It's green. A it's got a little, little bit, bit of that pinky bit. color. Here it is in um, twenty eight count linen or thirty two count linen. Yeah. So the Ada is a little bit um, not as intense in color than the linen. So let me see if I pull it up a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I need yeah. that. This is the two Very new close. fabrics we have in the shop. Yeah. So I thought these would be perfect for some of the um, for some of the um, fall looking um, pretty ladies. It would be nice on those, um, or even some um, fall autumny st stitches. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you something, guys. I'm um, all the time when I work in cutting fabrics or doing bags and have my my radio station music on and. The guy is chatting there and make jokes and things like that. And uh, one guy coming this week because he always bothered me because Ann Nyamin yawn. He yawns when he when he talks messages to his family. And he always say, "You are you boring? You boring? I'm boring you." Well, I'm found out that yawning is not because you are boring or tired. Is something Angelica. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. It's a transfer the one mood to other one. Really? Peaceful. Hmm. And it's Angelica. That means I ain't no boring one. I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that the the chat. Yeah. The story. Story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is Angelica transfer the one mood to a Peaceful mood. Okay. Oh, and also last week we forgot to mention that we have roller frames back in stock. Yes. Uh, some of you have already found that out and have been buying them. Um, mm. We do have the eight inch and the ten inch in bars. Mm -hmm. um, we and uh, we have from, from ten inch to twenty eight inch um, bar. The link bar. So we have the multiple sizes listed there. And we had the nubs. Uh -huh. And the uh, accessory arm for holding your accessory. It's called tool knob, no? For tight it and... Yeah, accessory tool knob. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it is. I know you the accessory thing, nub yeah, tool. It, yeah, it's like everybody knows something until someone <laughs> says, Is that right? You're like I don't Excuse know. me. <laughs> oh. I was wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what it's it is. It's called wing nut tool. Tool. Yeah. And what it's used for. That is for. What it's used for is high, tightening up the wing nuts on your roller frame. So that way yeah. you don't hurt your fingers. Yeah. It gives you a little bit of, um, a little bit more strength. Yeah. In, in when training. I was doing the the chart for the stitching in the wall next year mm -hmm. i was doing it in the roller frame and i cannot my hands are so weak i cannot tie that knob very well and was was loose this one and buy me one because i need <laughs> oh, maybe you should go on the website after the video and buy one no i'm ready buy me one oh, you okay. never know no i did not know <laughs> okay yes that is the mm. the we have it because a lot of people asking. Yeah. And one lady asking, ooh, long time ago, and I'm sending an email. I don't think so she replied. Oh, mm -hmm. Maybe she not see the email. Yeah. Okay. That is all for me. Yeah. And the um, the new series from Cottage Garden Samplings, the house, the houses, uh, we are still taking uh, pre-order signups for that because we haven't, I think next week they're going to give us the opportunity to order them so if you haven't yet signed up you can still sign up um, that one way by sending an email which is in in the drop down below uh with your name email and paypal and zip code the reason we say send your name because a lot of times when we get the email it just says whatever your email is and sometimes most people it's not their name it's something that, that they were cute when they first created the email and I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm not very creative, so my email is just my name. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. Because you know I forgot what I'm putting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, that's why we, we ask is all. Um, I think it's going to be a fun little series. Uh, we, if you don't sign up, you don't have to sign up for the whole series. Um, if, because we will buy extra. So we just need to know who wants the whole series. So we order enough for them. And then we'll order a few extra for the shop, mm -hmm. which is what we do for all the series like that. And so that way, if you didn't sign up, you could pick and choose what you wanted. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, and, I, and we hope that you had a, a fun Thanksgiving. Yes. And looking forward to shopping, shopping, shopping till Christmas. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm right. thinking that's all. That's it. Bye, Bye I love you. Got your elf phone? One. You got your elf phone? My what? Your elf. <laughs>